Okay, so I made a um, bean lining box out of two Altoids tins. And uh, the way it works is uh, you catch a bee in the, this side first. And then you pop the cover off, and there's the, the plexiglass here so you can see if you got the bee. And if you did, you open the door between the compartments, close this one so it's nice and dark, you open this one and let the bee in. Then you close the, close the door and keep that bee happy. And you repeat that process until you've got enough bees. And then you take this feeder, which is just a sponge and a bottle cap, and you put some uh, syrup on it, put it in here, let the bees back in to fill up with syrup, and you let them go. Okay? And eventually they'll come back. And then we've got this little chart from Tom Seeley's book that gives you the time for the round trip and the distance, and so you can tell how far away the bees are, and you'll have to use your own eyes to see what direction they're going. On the other side, um, just on the other magnetic cover, I've got, uh, from, both from my own experience and from Tom Seeley's book, uh, an equipment checklist of things you need. So you can carry this box in your pocket, but you do need a few other things yeah. if you're going to do the whole bee lining bit. But this is very portable, very easy to carry around, and make, gives you the opportunity to line bees whenever you see, whenever there's a dearth, but you see bees on something that's flowering. So tell me your name. Frank Linton. Frank, thank you so much for sharing that with us. We appreciate that. You're welcome.